folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. I'm gonna update you on our spiral staircase today in this video. So, oh, hey folks, <laughs> look who it is, and it's Brian. I know it's been a little while since we did a staircase video, and for folks that are new to the channel and yet not have known about our wooden spiral staircase, but Brian's gonna tell a little bit about the railing system. So this is the piece, the element that we haven't really gotten to yet. So uh, what we're doing is we're harvesting some uh, wood out in the forest, like we did for every other part of the staircase. Uh, we found logs, trees around, and had them milled. So we're actually getting the spindles uh, in the forest. Uh, there is a ton of down trees yeah. in the woods, and they're all a good diameter, you know, two inches. Uh, which will be perfect for the spindles. So mm -hmm. we're going to use those to uh, actually uh, curve around use uh, for the spindles. We're going to actually try and use an aspen tree, also about an inch and a half in diameter, maybe two at the most, uh, for the actual railing of it. Yeah. So it should be uh, a challenge, but it should be interesting. And if it comes out the way we want, it should be pretty neat looking. So I know folks have been wondering what we were going to do for a railing system. It's been a while since we've done the first stage of the stairs and there's still no railing on it and that's uh definitely a code issue so we want to make sure we get a railing a safety issue taken care of by putting up our handrail yeah. so uh, originally i wanted to the original idea was going to use ski lift cable uh but i couldn't i haven't been able to find any ski lift cable yeah. there's a, a, a industrial recycling place down in denver or actually in brighton um, and they have all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and you can, I can actually get some uh, crane cable. I was thinking of using that. Uh, it was only five eighths or three quarters in diameter, so I would have had to use about five strands of it or six even. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think that would have just been cumbersome uh, just to work with. And so I thought the, the aspen trees would complement the staircase even better. Yeah. Uh, so. And so, uh, you got a special tool to be able to make this project happen. Right. So we're going to test it out in this video. Right. <laughs> so a tendon cutter. So a one inch tendon cutter. Uh, it'll be instrumental in uh, attaching the, the spindles actually to the stair itself. And then, uh, and hopefully it'll make it easy. So mm -hmm. just cut a nice tendon, drill a hole in the staircase, and then uh, boom, pop it in, put a screw, and you're good to go. Yep. Yeah. So I test that out and show you guys how that works, but first we're gonna go get some more wood. <laughs> Take a little adventure today, go get some more wood. Okay. All right guys, stay tuned. We'll show you how it turns out. So this whole collection right here is stuff that the kids had collected earlier this summer, and we're gonna turn these into spindles for the railing system. We just need a few more. I think we have about 50, and we probably need 50 more. Hey, we're going on a tractor ride. Four feet. Here we go, going to get our wood in the woods. of already downed dead wood. I think they had done this to sort of thin the forest before for fire mitigation, but they never picked it up. So it's just all this wood lying around and probably better if it was gone, you know. Oh good, green, my favorite color. Okay. So if you, you know this size or a little smaller diameter. Uh-huh. And then uh... we divide and conquer.
to try out the tenon test cutter. It, yeah, we got to test okay. it out. Yeah. We got all our uh, spindles. We got to make sure this is actually yes. idea is actually going to work. You got your vehicle ball? What the heck, man? You got your vehicle ball. This looks pretty fancy. Yeah. Do the big end. Yeah. This is official operation. <laughs> okay, big moment. Is this gonna work? <laughs> it looks like a really big. This is the hammer. It's tur twisting a little bit. Holy smokes. Look at that. <laughs> huh. Yeah, but how are you going to make sure it's like stays plumb with the stick and the... Uh, well, it just has to be, you know, kind of... Uh, There'd be some... It just has to be close. See? I'm going to square the piece of wood off and the chops off first. Okay. Because I didn't do that. So. Okay. So you have a really flush end. Right. But is it hard to keep it steady and level? And no, well, I think we just need to clamp the other end as well. So a better... So or really... So a couple clamps. Yeah. Okay. So if I was really clamped tight, it wouldn't really wiggle around much. Right. So that goes going to go into the stair, the tenon end? Right. Okay. And so the top end is not going to have a tenon. No, the top end is going to have a U-shape. Okay. As a cradle. If this is the railing, it'll have a crate like that. Okay. A little bit of a U-shape to it. Okay. And then uh, I haven't exactly figured how I'm going to attach the railing to the spindle. It's just a screw, put, you don't want to... Yeah, I could put a screw in the top. I'd rather mm -hmm. not. But and then just cap it. A little yeah, cap of wood. that's true. I could do that. So, we can drill a quarter inch hole, and then I could put a, a quarter inch plug in it. Yeah. And then just sand it flush. Mm -hmm. That would work perfect. Yeah, that's what I... Seems like the easiest way to yeah. attach it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There'll be a screw through the from the bottom of the, through the stair because this this won't go all the way through it'll go like an inch into the stair okay. inch and a half and then there'll be a screw the rest of the way into the tenon okay to secure it and you know we'll probably glue it and then screw it okay well so far so good Let's see if we can make another one happen okay okay, okay looks like a tight cl tight clamp here we go that's the tricky part starting it yes I think um, if we just sand it a little bit it would be it would be better like if there's a little bit of a taper on it yeah Because you grabbed one of the bigger pieces. Oh, yeah. Seems like it's a little harder to cut. Yeah. The diameter, you think? I don't know. The there's plenty of cutting. There's at least a quarter inch of left of cutting blade on it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm just maybe on that. Not level. Maybe the wood's harder. Hmm. 
And it's designed to be what, an inch, one inch. Because it comes with a one, one inch hole. So. Oh, okay. A bit. Okay. Okay. But how long can you make the tenon is what I was asking. Oh. I thought. That long. <laughs> so, three inches? Probably three inches. Okay. I, I really just, just needs to be an inch and a half, I think. Okay. You know, as far as the... I know. Ow. <sighs> well. It's working. Yeah, it's working. And, uh, I mean, it looks like it's pretty labor intensive. You're having to push right into it and hold it. Right, yes. So, it just seems like... Uh, <laughs> we'll have to do it. <laughs> so this is Timber Tough uh, tenon cutter, one inch to do the railings. Spindles. Spindles. So it works. It works, yeah. <laughs> there might be a little bit of tweaking involved as yeah. far as making it work better. Maybe putting a little oil, I think, on that wood. Maybe try. Let Oiling me get, it? Grab some WD 40 and see. Yeah. got rid of the noise yeah I'm wondering it looks like you're starting a little fire there <laughs> smoking the oil at least it seems like it's helped it yeah it's going like a, it's going a little faster a little smoother yeah. but it's also smoking your lubricant yeah that's okay <laughs> Well, but I think that's plenty of room. I mean, yeah. What you do is put a little bit of a taper on the hole so it seats down. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. So, next step is uh, we got to sand all these. I, I mean, I need to sand all these. <laughs> sand just, them down. Uh, just the lights. We just got to get, get these off and then a light sanding on them. Maybe to change the color. Uh huh. But I don't know. I, the naturalness of it looks good, but some of them are gray, so you probably want to... Mm -hmm. Well, once you kind of initially get that first sand, we'll see what color they are. Right. Yeah. I don't think we have to go crazy. I, like, this one is awesome. It's got all the pattern of the bug marks in it. All right. Yeah. Just cool. Interesting. Yeah. All right, guys. Well... <laughs> thumbs up. Thumbs up so far on the review. We'll see what happens after a hundred of these are made. Yep. And, um... Yeah, in our spare time, working on all that. You know, what we might be able to do is put it in the drill press. You can situate your drill press high enough where you can drop the spindle in between the Maybe. platform. I'll have to go look. Or and twist see. it or something. I can get the platform out of the way. Uh -huh. I'll have to go look and see if the, if I can spin the, I don't know. I'll have to see. Okay. That might be an if option. there's a hole in the base, then I could put it in the middle. Okay. And then I could just have a block underneath this piece on the end, mm -hmm. and then nothing will move it. I just yeah, that would be ideal if you could. That, would be ideal. that worked out. So that's one thing to figure out how we can uh, make the process go a little smoother, faster, mm -hmm. and um, uniform. Because we're not we're not cutting cross grain. We're cutting like along along the grain. Yeah, we're like shaving mm -hmm. the layers. Yeah, so. Out shouldn't be too too hard yeah so the review for the tenon cutter so far is a thumbs up yes <laughs> <laughs> what in the heck <laughs> somebody always trying to play it's the big con ball yeah all right guys so there you go um one inch tenon cutter using a drill maybe perhaps a drill press making tenons for spindles for the railing for the stairs so we've got all the pieces and the parts. Now we got to get our system going to see if we can make it happen and get our stairway to heaven going on. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like the tenon cutter there, uh, if you have any questions about it, let us know. If you've used one, if you have any secret tips or tricks, please share in the comments. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
that's heavy. <laughs> Can anybody hold that? 